Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the channel, you've heard me say a couple of times that you must only install optional bug fix release updates if you have to. So if your system's okay, everything's running, it's fine and stable, ignore the update. And that's because the update and most of the fixes and improvements will be carried over into the patch Tuesday update. Now my reason for saying this has once again been confirmed. Because the May optional bug fix C release update that rolled out, KB5037853, and that's for Windows 11, obviously, was breaking the taskbar. And now the June optional bug fix C release update, KB5039302, is also causing taskbar issues. So both optional C release updates in the last month are causing taskbar issues on Windows 11. Now, this is um, quite ironic because I posted earlier today that Microsoft had resumed the rollout of KB5039302 um, on Windows 11 that was causing devices to restart. And I'll leave that video down below and in the end screen. So this optional update is causing quite a lot of headaches for a lot of Windows users. And Microsoft, once again, has updated its known issues health dashboard page. And although they've resumed the rollout of this update, they've said that the taskbar might not load after installing the June 2024 preview update, which is this update. So this is quite unfortunate, and I can see this is going to cause a lot of debate in the comments. And Microsoft says, though, this um, error will occur, and this issue will occur under two circumstances. Okay, so I think this just on a side note, I think this issue is going to be affecting more the minority than the majority, and you'll see why. Because first of all, they say this issue is only expected to occur if you are using a Windows N edition. Now, a Windows N edition, in case you're unaware, is basically a special edition of uh, the operating system where Microsoft has stripped out the media features and removed the media features from the OS, such as Windows Media Player app and so on. So that's what a Windows N edition is. And if you're a normal user like myself, if you turn off the media features via the control panel, programs, programs and features, um, then you could experience this issue. So just to show you what I'm talking about, if you head to your control panel, if you don't know where control panel is, just do a search for it. And you head to your programs and features. And you head to turn Windows features on or off. And this is what they're talking about. Media features. If you turn media features off, then you could experience that your taskbar might not load after installing the June optional update. So those are the two circumstances where this issue could occur. Running a Windows N edition, and then if you're a regular user, turning off media features from um, the control panel programs and features, and um, turn Windows features on and off menu and dialog. Now, this is the problem that is actually being caused. Microsoft says you might not be able to view or interact with the taskbar after logging in to your device. Once the update is installed, other applications like File Explorer, Desktop and Settings will continue to work. And once again, Microsoft say they are working um, on a resolution and will provide an update in an upcoming release. So this update has caused a couple of headaches for a lot of people and that's why i always say if you can avoid installing these optional updates um, only install them if you have to and as mentioned affected platforms are version 23h2 and version 22h2 of windows 11 and what i would suggest if you have installed the update and it is causing this issue i would just simply head over to uninstall updates and then i would um, uninstall the update from this page but just take note though if you have done a disk cleanup to clean and remove, uh, sorry, to clean up your updates. As you can see, I've already done that since updating. So you won't see the update if you have cleaned out your updates using the disk configuration utility or storage sense. So if you're not seeing the update here, that's why. But if you haven't done that, then I would just uninstall the update. Um, and then hopefully Microsoft rolls out that um, resolution um, with, with or before our next Patch Tuesday update, which is rolling out next week on the 9th of July, but I'll keep you posted if I get any more info. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.